What is going on there guys? Welcome back to the Blackpool career mode in FIFA 23. So we are getting quite close to the end of, of this season, season number 3. We are in the FA Cup and this is the competition I really want to try and go far in. And to be honest, with round of 16, if we win this match, we're into a quarter final. So I am definitely playing this one, I don't want to risk it. I probably will rotate the side very slightly. We'll rotate it as much as we need to. Um, obviously, I still want to keep on a good run in the Premier League as well. But I also don't want to rotate that much where it's going to risk us possibly losing this match. So we'll try and put out a strong side. But I will give other players a little bit more of a chance as well. I'm going to let this go. 5-1. They do get a goal. Kamavinga gets another one. I'll take that, you know. Um, I know I don't really, really do that, but because we've got so many games I want to play in this episode, you sort of see them as more of a highlights game, I suppose. That's what it'll probably be like. <laughs> oh, of course. Of course. We did, was never going to get an easy one, were we? I felt like our, our good luck was just coming to an end. So, we have got Liverpool in the, ne in the quarterfinals. Oh, of course. I mean, to be honest... All the, pretty much all the all the Premier League teams won. Peterborough, did they beat someone? Peterborough beat Brighton. Okay, so there was one shock. Was anyone? Did anyone actually get close? I mean, Barnsley gave Everton a good game. Uh, Watford only lost, lost one 0 Wolves only just lost. Stoke City got beat quite humbly by Liverpool. So, ah, oh, this is going to be a hard one. And probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably simulate this game against Forest. I'm going to play the game against Liverpool and play the game against City. Because um, we've not really played any big teams. So I do want to play a big team in this episode. Um, but yeah, you technically got to get three games played in this episode. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, let's simulate this one. The team's looking good. Come on, simulations. Give us a good go. And we do win. Buy our kittens. Come on. We don't really destroy teams in the simulations as we do in the games, but this is why we've, I'm not changing this in the difficulty just at this moment because we've not really played any big, big teams yet, so I'm not going to start changing the team around and upping the difficulty just yet because I, I, we're still struggling in simulations and stuff like that, so... And all the difficulty was really silly hard, so... We'll see how we go in this game against Liverpool and City... Maybe, if depending on what happens in them games, maybe we'll think about um, upping it in next season. But right now, I feel like we should just stick to Legendary. And then next season, we'll have a, we'll have a chat and see what we think. There we go. This is a completely different test in the FA Cup to what we've had. We destroyed Bolton with the first half. So much so, I just didn't see the reason on playing that second half ourselves. So we let the team play it and we got to the next game. But you look at that, we have such a big opportunity right now. If we can beat Liverpool, I would say, I am backing us, boys. I am backing us to go win this win, win this cup. Win the first one in this series. And to be honest, I didn't realise we'd win one so soon. Well, we have got one trophy, the playoff final trophy, we'll say that. Uh, but yes, the f best start of 11 out there. The big boy Jerry Yates, I was thinking about putting in Welt Legos, but he can be a substitute later on if we need a little bit more. But I'm happy just to go out with start 11. This start 11 has been getting a job done for me recently, so very, very happy with it. Especially your first season in Premier League, it's very, very, very rare you change your team around if you find something that works, because otherwise you're going to mess yourself up. They have got their best start 11 out as well. Araujo to Mori, Alfonso, oh my god, if anything, their midfield is letting down with Jordan Henson and Curtis Jones, but even then, they may be quite high up, they got Musiala on the bench, why, but then you got Gakpo, Salah and Nunes, like, that is insane, I am very, very scared, but here we go, let's see what we can do against Liverpool, let's give it our best shot, and hopefully, put up a big shock, Cameron Vinger into the intercepts that oh my god Nunes instantly in the back of him there not exactly what we needed from Jerry Yates brave weight though he's managed to catch up with, with Gakpo 
Oh, done brilliant there, though, Braithwaite. Oh! That is not a good one! And it's a red card for Darwin Dunes! He's gone! Why would you do that? He's gone through the back of Gabriel. And now he's a straight red to one of their most dangerous players. And now we have got a big opportunity here. With them having 10 men, we could take advantage. That is a hell of a ball by Moda. And, yeah, he's couldn't quite receive that. Oh, Salah. Salah's been allowed in. And he's gone and scored. And that is what we can do to you. They just, they timed that so well with Salah going through. He was miles ahead before the defence even turned. Just watch this. Look at where Salah is. He's already clear. Wu and Braithwaite. Reed was nowhere to be found. And that is not what we need. Especially when they're down to 10 men. I wasn't expecting that. Braithwaite again. Taking control of that pole. Also, I'm being forced backwards. But again, he's found that pass. Oh, Scott. He's got a ball. And Scott, he's got a level face up and put the road. Alex Scott again. He is popping up with some massive goals in this Empire of the season. And he's just leveling it up against Liverpool. That's why you call a comeback. Come on, boys. Come on up the pool and let's get this. I believe in us. These fans believe in us. Come on. Caravinga again there as he needs to be. And now I eight. He's playing around the corner for Edwards. And Edwards is a big opportunity and he's in the bar. Oh, Marcus Edwards. That is an opportunity to put us ahead oh that is insane again good play by the striker getting us through initially oh my god thank god he didn't c turn around let's go the fourth official has indicated there will be a minimum of two minutes of added time. Kamavinga. Back to Bano Gittens! That's got to go in! Bano Gittens, it has to go in! That could have not been set up for any better. Last chance of the game. to win this bring some reinforcements for this last one because it's got to be balls to the win right now I did look at Yates' penalties he's not brilliant so I'm going to keep, take him off since he over to Reed. this is an opportunity that is a big opportunity great stuff by Weghorst and it's coming finger oh it's on Jeremy Sion and he's done it he's only got a bloody done it And Weghorst with the impact, holding the ball up brilliantly for Kramavinga. Come on, boys. We deserve that big time. Oh, and it's that man again who has just pulled the strings for us all day. And he deserved that. He loved it. Come on, boys. We are on our way to an FA Cup semis. If we hold on, we have just over 10 minutes to hold on. Now I hope against Reed. Oh, brilliant stuff from the left back. That is what I need from you. And that's a great find. 
great fight. The referee has indicated there will be a minimum of one minute of added time. Come on, boys! Where's the Cup semi final bound? We have done the impossible. We are in the semis. The FA Cup could be coming to Blackpool. And we are going to Wembley. Camavinga with the most of the poor goals. But overall, we are playing fantastically. Again, this team is taking stride after stride and becoming a better club. And we are on the way. Let's go. So after our brilliant game against Liverpool, we are up against Manchester City, another titan of the Premier League. So this could be a big game. Obviously, I just want to... I honestly just want to see where this team's at right now with the difficulty. So this is a good test. We're going to get straight into this game, the last game of the episode. Let's hope we give it a good go. Again, I'm going to go out with my st strongest start at 11. And let's give it a good old bash and see if we can get something again. We are... On 37 points, three points away from getting to that 40 point mark, what I believe is like the safety net of the Premier League. So, honestly, if we can get a win here somehow, I would say we are relatively safe. It's going to read. Caught up a little bit there. De Bruyne gets stopped by Braithwaite. Good stuff from Scott, just gets it over to Edwards. Edwards! He's going to curl one, and Edison's going to have to make a great save. Edwards, who had a great shot there. Camavinga with the corner. Can he maybe find someone? It's Jacob Moda. Scott's there. Oh, he can't quite do anything else with it. We messed that one up. Oh, and Harlan's dispossessed by Braveway again. Oh. That didn't look nice from Foden again. What is with these... Dirty players going in behind my players, right, honestly. That's brilliant. And Camavinga! Camavinga! Doesn't dip. It's a good opportunity. It would beat Edison, but it beat the bar. Mode of air just to protect us. goal what I personally don't feel like they deserve we have been the better team but we've not took our chances and this is what kind of stuff can happen Harlan just gets away from one player and he just opens up the possibilities it's Wu out of position as well and it's Phil Foden goal for Manchester City number 47 that's Phil a great Foden. oh that's not this is a horrible touch. Hold on, it's Gabriel. Let's get his move. Oh, that needs to be fizzed across. It wasn't.
My God, we're getting very lucky there. Come on. Try and get it. It just was stretching all the time for it. He's done us again where we really need to stop him there and you just know it's going to be hard to stop him after that. We had all the momentum and as soon as he got that goal it just seems like we've lost it. I'm sorry, but Yates has been awful today. In this match, Yates has just... He's not been awful. He's just... He's not been able... He has been so well defended against. Like, they have just kept him on a downwards back. It meant that we've had to take the chances with the other players. But we should have got something out of this game. Oh, well, we moved. We moved. We've had defeat. It does put us down to 12, but again... I looked before, we were 17 points clear. We could we could be about 14, but again, we're relatively fine for now, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. But honestly, I wanted to play that game more just to see where we were with um, the difficulty. And to be honest, it felt quite hard, that game, so I'm fine keeping difficulty as it is for now. Uh, this is just a little update as well on what the uh, youth camera is looking like. A few players have been put in there, like Freddie Hulls, who's 68 overall, he's 17. He looks like he's going to be a banging player in the future. So he's definitely someone to keep an eye on. Uh, we've got some nice other players as well. A few of these are like 85, but I, this Alpha Alfonso Pinto guy, he looks quite good. He's definitely someone I'm going to keep an eye on. Uh, we've got some other nice players as well, but a lot of these overalls are going down. Um, I'm going to keep this going. So, this first game against West Ham, I'm actually going to simulate because um, we've got to pick and choose our games because obviously the main game I'm going to be playing is that FA Cup semi final. So. We've got four Premier League games, so I'm going to simulate three of them, playing one of them, and then we'll play the, the cup. So we'll simulate this one. Let's see if we can get a, a result in a simulation. We'll get a draw. You know what? I said we needed at least one more point to get safe, and I think we've just done that. Um, and West Ham, who are above us, I've got the jobs done. I've got to say, I'm loving using some of these players in this career mode. I'm just enjoying it. People like Bino Gittens. Camavinga, I'm so happy we've got a chance to play with. As I've said to you, if maybe in the future, if we want to maybe bring Rogers back just because it's the club he used to be with and he grew up with, maybe we'll bring him back one day. But honestly, at this moment in time, I don't think we're missing him that much. I really just don't think. I feel like with the money we're going to get from him is going to be able to get us so much further than he would ever take us by himself. Um... I just don't know. He just never really fit what we were trying to do. Um, definitely got to simulate this game against Crystal Palace because we've, we're playing these guys in the cup. So, a little bit of a pre-match. 1-1. One, one. Okay. Uh, Edwards gets us a goal. They missed a penalty. So, again, we'll get another draw. What I'm not particularly thrilled with, but it is what it is. I, may, I might, depend on what the next game is, I might play that one. So this game against Brentford, I might simulate this and I might play the Newcastle game and the Cup game back to back. So I'll simulate this one with the first team. I'm probably going to make rotations for the other game. And we do win this one. Braithwaite with a winner and Bumo missed a penalty. Moda as well. So none of the strikers. It was Moda and Braithwaite. Probably the most defensive players in our team. Gets us the goals and we do get... Because they got that draw against us. What I really think we deserve to win that game as well. Um... Probably what I'm going to do is kind of rotate roughly for this game. Not stupidly amount, but we'll see. Here we go. We are at St. James's Park. These guys are actually closer to us than I had imagined they would be. 
They're only about six points ahead of us, so we can beat them here. We are on course to possibly finishing that top 10, maybe just below it. But as you say, we are on 42 points in 11th place. We are far beyond. We're about 20 points now ahead of the relegation spot. So I'd say we are, I can't say mathematically, but we are pretty much safe. By the looks of it, they have got a good team and they are quite low down on the table for how good they are. So we have got Nick Pope still in goal. Sergio Roboto is there. Diop, Militao, don't know how Wellington is. Longstaff, Willett, McC McAllister. That's an interesting one. Um, Gordon, and Byrne are all in there. We've got Wayne Allen and Canate's in there. Chris Wood and Bailey's on the back. They have got a good squad. This is arguably what a natural um, Newcastle team could look like. I mean, arguably they look better nowadays. They said, um, made a few changes. Uh, they made you want Dominic Thompson in at left back. Bellingham, Senti and Scott all in the midfield. Pervado, Wegos and Nicholas in that front three. I know Yates is going for a record, but right now I want him for a semi-final more than all else. He might come on a little bit later, but I feel like it's important. We give him a bit of a rest. If Wegos isn't working out by half time, maybe I'll bring Yates on. Oh, brilliant for Braithwaite. He can't quite get it away. It's a block from Wu. We still can't get it away. And now Braithwaite with a block. Joe Bellium. Oh, Nicholas. He's, he's maybe got the pace to get away here. No, he can't get away from Diop. Scott over to, to Pervader. And Pervader! Oh, Pope with a save. Good play, Bo. Nicholas with the corner. Can he swing this in? Wigos is there. He can't quite reach him. Sensi! Oh, that was a cheeky effort. A bit of a scissor kick going on there, but he just very narrowly missed it. Oh, Dominic Thompson missed it. This place is that challenge. But Wu does well there. He can't quite get out. Oh, and it's... No! That's not! And Gabriel's been sent off. Oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. The tackle came after the ball was out. I don't understand that. And it's a penalty. Ray's going to save! Okay, I've got to make some substitutions. What a save by Rayo, though. Roder does well there. Good quick feet. He's got a bit of room here. And that's brilliant. Straight through to Jerry Yates. Oh, and he can't convert. He can't convert. That's his first opportunity, and he nearly got it. Nicholas with the, with the ball in. Oh, he can't quite make it work. All right, Scott. Gonna string us out to Nicholas. What a ball! Oh, it's Pervader! He's done it! What a ball! What a ball! It's a ball of dreams for Ian Pervader and even won't throw with a man down. We have risen and took the lead at St James's Park. That is a, not a great header at all, but you know what? I don't give a damn. It's a goal. It's Pervader's goal. It's winger to winger. And he pervaders has got four in saves of it's basically a rotational play at best. He's done the job. I'm gonna take Wu off simply because he's on a yellow card. Oh, that is a brilliant way. We deserve that. I honestly think on the way we played, we have deserved that. I'll be honest, I was thinking about taking off Lawrence Gable at half time. I wish I did. What? How is that a foul? Oh, we're bringing on Leon Bailey, what's a a threat? Oh my god, and we've got a knock on there from Militao, and it's beaten Raya. Gonna have to look at this again. Who was. I don't know who was marking him, 
Finn Braithwaite sort of just letting past him. Again, not what we wanted at all. Scott, can he get his head on that? No, he can't. Was that? What was that? Braithwaite's watching him there. He's you let him get in front of you. Braithwaite, you can't allow that. You can Oh my god! This is this game has been the definition of I feel so robbed! I feel so robbed. That referee is beyond card happy. Every time we have missed a tackle, he has given us a yellow card. And that caused the, the Gabriel one. Even though I don't understand how in the world it, it counted as a foul after the bloody whistle went. The bloody whistle went after the fact the foul was committed. It was off the bloody gut, off the bloody space of play. I don't understand. I really don't. Don't know if I'm being stupid about it, but I just feel like Newcastle have got away with one big time there. Eh? They have just had so much help from this referee. How much did he want to give them? He gave them a cheap penalty. He got one of my players cheaply took off when, yes, there were two fouls. But he didn't even give him a warning. He only had what he had did two fouls and he got two yellow cards. What I feel is absolute bollocks. That referee, go back to referee academy, because that is you do not understand the way of let it go. Go away, mate. Go away. So this is arguably the main event of the episode. The FA Cup semi-final. This is the the furthest we've ever gone in any competition so far in this series. This is the furthest I think Blackpool have been in very, so many years. I have had to make two force changes. Obviously, Lawrence Gable got sent off in the previous match. But then Wu got yellow card. He must have had five yellow cards because he has got a red card. So I've had to put Connolly in for that. And I've also had to put Maitland Nars in for uh, Lawrence Gable. But I've, got, I've kept with a big, strong team for this one. We need to take our chances in this one. So they've got a good squad here. We've got Gino Nana, Porto, Adam Traore in there. Zagadou's on the bench. Ori Azola as well. Luke Plange, a former career mode player as well. So this is not going to be an easy game. But I feel like we have got a big chance. And we cannot mess it up. So I said a bit the force change is Ainsley, Maitland, Niles and Connolly coming in. Gonna take keep on with my best starting eleven for this one. Because I feel like we need a win. We really, really do. But let's get into this game, guys. It's a massive one in the career mode and in the history of for Blackpool. Let's go and do this at Wembley. Let's go. Oh, for this referee is a little bit less trigger handy with, a, with them cards than the previous referee because he was just an absolute pain in my ass. Yikes. Oh, that's brilliant. Kamavinga! Kamavinga's in! Kamavinga's got an absolute slot at home for the first goal in the FA Cup semi-finals! Come on, boys! Maybe this is what we missed against Newcastle, that run from Kamavinga who it's just been lit, lighting it up for Blackpool since we bought him in in January. He has just been on an absolute roll. He has took that, that Rogers roll and he has took it and made it his own. He's arguably been better and just performance wise, him and Yates are such a great link up and I'm loving it. I thought we were going to give away a penalty there. 
Oh, Adama with a, with a shot. It's gonna, oh, and that's going to go out for a goal kick. Thank you very much, Porto. Good stuff there between the centre backs. This could be brilliant. He, the referee's letting us go. And Yates! Yates! Oh, Mannequins! What? What? Oh my god! Yates hits the post! Bad luck, Gittins! I don't know. I don't know why the referee pulled, pulled the plug on now. Why? Oh, it's a. My god, again! Why does he keep doing that? I went to try and block it. You look at the angle. Onana has run into it. He's run into it. He's run into his leg. Bit racing. That is justice. That is justice. Stick that in your pipe and smoke it, you referees, man. Stupid bloody things. No one there. Needed someone else there. You just knew this was coming. You knew it was. Every single time we have had a shot, it's been saved. Every single one. And then this happened. You know it's coming. When you're not taking your chances, it's happening. And that... Oh, my fucking God! How many times? How many times did that fucking come for him? How many times? Just go away! Absolute bollocks sometimes this game! Joe Bellingham, bro. Oh my god, fuck off, Johnston! Nah, this is rigged. This is rigged. Why is Johnson like 75 overall and he is pulling saves out of his arse? Yates. What the fuck was that? Thompson. Oh my fucking god! Reed, have you just seriously let Free Pound to all that space? And it's extra time! How have we let this go to extra time, lads? This game, you can tell, is rigged sometimes. How rigged was that? How many chances have we had to put this game away? Yes! Finally! Finally! Oh my god, I'm the voice break! I don't care! Finally, we've scored! Finally, Yates puts it in the back of the net. Finally, Johnson then provides some Neuer type crap and denials. This should not have gone to extra time. Before this game, before this extra time, we had 14 shots. Johnson pretty much had double digit saves. This just felt like such a bull crap match sometimes because of how rigged it was. But thank God we finally got that goal. Good player. 
Sensei gonna That's great word down the left hand side. Reed. Oh, he's tried to pull, pull it back for Kamavinga. Didn't work out. I'm gonna get a ball back. We've got a lot of sloppy in this second half. Wegos turns, shoots, Wegos is going to seal it. Comes on just to give the eight a rest. Now we have got a goal. And he comes on and scores with his first shot. Come on, Wegos. That's what I'm talking about. Johnson is looking very sad now. After all of them saves, he's still going to be crashing out. Thank the Lord we have done it. Thank him! Oh, he goes for it. Nicholas. Oh, there we go. Probably like the 50th shot we've had in the game. We had to do it in extra time, what I'm not happy about because we need to be taking these chances in the full 90 minutes. But either way, we have made it to the FA Cup final. I honestly, I was worried. When that guy kept saving everything and then Yates missed that sitter, I was like, this is just shaping up to be. They're going to get a goal right at the end. I was going to go to penalties and we're going to lose. But thank, for, thank the Lord, Yates finally got it. And Wegor's put the cherry on top. Let's go, Blackpool, up the pool. So, either way, guys, I'm going to leave this episode here. Next episode will be the finale of season number three and our first season in the Premier League. Honestly, um, we've got to that point now where the Premier League, we're, we're safe. Obviously, I'll play probably... I'm probably going to get to the point where... I might just play the last game of the season, I'll be honest. I might, maybe what I might do is I might either play um, either the Spurs or the Liverpool match, possibly just just to play one of them. Probably simulate the rest, apart from probably the Wolves and the Man United match. It's weird that the FA, I can't remember, is the FA Cup there? I thought it was right at the end of the season, I can't remember. But either way, we've got that right there, so I'm definitely just going to be rotating, putting my second team out for that Bournemouth game. So, we've got six more games of the season. We'll be getting them out of the way in the next episode. Um, I'm probably going to be doing quite a few transfers during that episode as well, because I've got some some lined up. Um, I'm just doing some scouting. Just I want to get a couple players in. A lot, Quite a bit of the money does get replenished, so I don't think we need to use it all. I think you get a bit chunk, a big, big chunk talking out, but still, I feel like we should have it quite a lot. I pretty much used a bit of the money as well to like either do contracts, do get better scouts, stuff like that. So the money as well, even though it's not all gone on players, it's made this club better. And that, I feel like that adds to the realism of it, of the career mode and stuff like that. So it's sort of good in that aspect. So got a big episode coming up. I hope you stay tuned. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. I do apologise if in this episode there was quite a lot of swearing. I, I sort of just lost focus and. Usually I try and keep a lid on it. I will try and edit as much as I can out. But it's pretty hard when it's in games. Um, especially that last game against Palace. I was pulling my hair out. I, we literally had 28 shots. And I think, I don't know how many Johnson saved. But most of the shots were on target. That's how tough that match was in getting past. And that's sometimes when keepers just have a day. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Put that at that bell icon on so you know exactly when a new episode is out there's also an, a new series in the in the, in the terms of the spider-man 2018 i'm re redoing that so hope you want to do that i want to do that like it's a sort of like five years on since it came out so i thought i thought why not um and with wake of spider-man 2 coming out later this year i want to play both games so i'll get myself back up to speed with that world and I hope you enjoy that, and I hope you uh, go and watch out with me and come experience that game because it's amazing. But just a harmless plug. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Take care, and bye-bye. <laughs>